Say Lily Yoka for life here. Um, 2.30 in the morning, guys. Uh, what, September 3rd? This is what I decided to do. <laughs> After a long day at work. So, I've kind of got a Marinette Dupin Chang thing going on here. At least that's the wig I have on. Um, yeah. I decided this is something she would wear. So I kind of just threw on something that's like the character, you know. Um, I attempted to do the live stream video. Apparently, oh, my phone doesn't work because I have to have at least a thousand subscribers and all that fun stuff. And then, um, my computer is just very old, so it, it it's not. It freezes up constantly when I did my test run, so yeah. Anyways, um, what the series was supposed to be is a... Uh, I wanted to try to start a series of videos for my favorite, uh, or just in general, any Thousand Foot Crutch song. They are my favorite band, and they are actually, you know, Christian. Um, I actually didn't know that when I first got into them. Uh, it was a series of Code Lyoka videos. Ooh. Hi, guys. Um, and uh, I had no idea they were Christian. So that was really cool to find out. It blew my mind because I had no idea. Obviously, as I've said a million times already. Um, yeah, so I love rock. It's my favorite genre, and I love that they don't, they don't always necessarily say it and everything, and I could talk about how much I love this band, you know, and everyone else can go love it too, but I like that anyone can enjoy it because they don't, they don't directly talk, like, praise God in, like, the Christian music, like, oh, da 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 and, and of course I love that stuff too, but, like, you know, like, I like that they, they, they're discreet, and... It's like hidden messages, and it's messages that other people can relate to, even if, even if they're not Christian, and they don't believe in God, and, you know, it's like anyone can really enjoy their music, and that's what I love about them. Uh, I like that their songs, they have different variations in their songs and things. I love their sound. I love their lyrics. I love this band. <laughs> it's my favorite band. So, yes, I very much enjoy them. So... Yeah, um, I hope you can enjoy them too. I'm actually going to be picking out, looking at the lyrics and picking out more about them. Uh, like, the Christian things, obviously. Um, and kind of dissecting the lyrics a little bit more uh, in the sh short ten minutes I have for videos. So, let's, uh, let's see, uh, what we can do with this one. This one is... I started off with this one because it's the most obvious Christian song. Um, well, they're all they're all Christian songs, but the most obvious one, which I didn't know way back then when, hence why I had no idea, um, is this one is called In My Room. And it's the one that's, I mean, most of them are talking to God, but this is the most direct they ever are about it, like the most obvious. Um, or at least to me, this is the most obvious. So, Be Somebody is pretty close there, too, but, um, best song. Anyways, um, but yeah, so let's just, uh, listen to this and see what you, uh, uh I'm gonna just play phrases and things, um, and yeah, this one should be a simple one to dissect. So yeah. They say that you created all. My voice must sound so small. In between heaven's walls. But they say to me my name. And they say that your love has no end. And that you can heal the past with just one touch of your hand. Doesn't matter if I was to blame, I've been 
trying to erase myself by trying to be someone else. They say there's no hope for me. I guess this must be heaven. You feel so empty. The words they cut like knives. You tell me to forgive them, but I'm not sure I'll survive. I'm not sure if this is a good time, or even if you're home. It's a long, long way from your throne. But can you meet me in my room, a place where I feel safe? Don't have to run away, and I can just be me. Can you meet me in my room? A place where I feel strong, a place where I belong, and I can call my own. I'll wait for you. Yeah. So I'm gonna flash you guys. It's okay. I have shorts on. We're all good. So, pretty straightforward on that, this song. Honestly, the lyrics say it all. Um, I mean, most of them, basically, that's kind of the point of these videos, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it's talking about, and the first time I listened to this, I actually, actually never realized until trying to do this video that they say heaven directly in it. I'm like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> it doesn't jump out to me normally, even when I sing it. I play the song on piano, and I sing it, and I... It never, never jumps out at me. So, um, I think that's just because I, uh, I guess I'm a Christian, so it doesn't really make a difference to me. Uh, but yeah, I was just saying, you know, he created all, and heaven's walls, and they say they know my name, and that... Your love has no end, and you can heal the past, you know, and about forgiveness, and trying to erase yourself because you're ashamed of yourself, and people saying, you know, there's no hope, there's no way, in, you know, so you must be stuck in hell and everything, and, you know, and how those people, like, words hurt a lot. Um, I was bullied my whole life, so I know, believe me, I'm, as a child, that's horrible. Words hurt like knives. Um, and we have to forgive them. And it's like, the, it can feel like you can, might not survive from, from that. So, yeah. And it's like, I'm not sure this is a good time, or even if you're home, you know, it's a long way from your throne. throne. And then just, you know, that uh, full vulnerability of being, asking God to just come in your room to where you're safe, you know, where you feel like you're strong and you feel safe and you can be yourself with him. Because really that's the essence of what a prayer should be. Um, I think this song is just the perfect song about prayer, really. Um, to me, it's kind of the essence of it. So, it's just really, it's really about prayer. Um, there is no right or wrong way to pray. Uh, it's just really just talking to God and being honest and open with Him 100% because that's what He wants. So really, this is, um, this is kind of going into that and... That's just, this, this song is just such a meat in it, um, all on its own. I mean, every song that they have is like that. It really speaks on its own, and if you really just listen to these lyrics, like, this song is teaching someone how to pray, basically, in the most honest way possible. It's just a conversation with God. A prayer doesn't always have to be this or that. Um, it's just a conversation. So, really, 
in every essence of the being, um, this is a prayer. This song is just a prayer to God asking him to, uh, well, not asking him much, really, of anything. It doesn't sound like a prayer. So, now well, my phone's having issues. Me. and set up on sound. Anyways. Yeah. So, um, really that's just an incredible thing about the song. It's kind of teaching you how to pray. Um, in a very conventional way and not like they all say, you know, you have to pray like this. Like this is the way you have to pray. There, there's no other choice. And that's not true. And that's a big thing with this song is it's, it's, it's teaching you how to pray and showing you how to um, without you really realizing it. Um, and that's just incredible to me. So, yeah. Um... And find the next part of these lyrics. They say you're there, you always never leave. Even when we don't believe, and that sounds like love to me. I know I couldn't do the same, you know, showing... Don't know if you could love someone unconditionally like that. And they said that you can see my heart, then you already know I'm falling apart and that's why I hide here in the dark so no one has to see my pain you know um so it's talking a lot about um the fact that is this is coming from someone who's like never prayed before uh this is literally the next line is I've never prayed so can we just talk I don't want to put you on the spot but can you bring the keys to my heart and help me find a way, you know? Um, and that's the, the, the essence of the song. Um, literally being, that's my favorite line in the entire song is I've never prayed so can we just talk? Because this is coming from a person in regards to the song in re really relation to other people is if this person's never prayed before, then, you know, then they're in the same boat as you. Um, if you, watching this video, have never prayed, that's okay. And this is, you know, them trying to be in your shoes and saying, you know, talking to God as if they've never prayed before, that they don't, you know, they're like, you know, everyone says this and that about you and stuff and they say you know my name and think your love never ends and even you forgive me no matter what even if it's my fault um and you know can we just talk you know I just don't know how to do this so can we just talk or you know instead of all that formal stuff uh I won't put you on the spot, you know, um, do you mind really helping me with my heart and help me find a way, you know? It's literally the most basic, broken down way of a prayer there is, especially for someone who's never prayed before. Um, the most vulnerable you can possibly be with God is literally there in that paraphrase. And it's like, just capturing that and like the way they capture all of this in these lyrics is incredible to me. I just like, I, it just astounds me at how well they do, um, it, it just, yeah, <laughs> it just really astounds me. So, yeah, 
Um, even when people don't believe in him, he's still, he's still there for them. And, you know, this, he's, the band is saying, you know, they know they couldn't do the same thing. Like, that's hard for people who don't believe in you and still be there for them no matter what. Um, and still love them. And they're like, that sounds like love to me. Like, that legitimately is love. <laughs> like, that's hard. Um, it's just incredible how they dissect all this. Um, yeah. So, this, this whole thing is just amazing to me. And, yeah. Listen to the song. <laughs> I'm gonna keep repeating the same thing over and over again. It's basically about prayer in a, a very, someone's very first prayer. So, and that's incredible to me. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope to make more about the other songs, obviously, more in depth and pointing out more about what they are in the lyrics and everything, um, and how they're talking to God or referring to God and referring to different things. I can't quote Bible verses, so don't expect that. So, um, but yeah, just basic me babbling as always and kind of just about my favorite band and kind of dissecting a little bit more into their songs and their lyrics and Christianity. So yeah, I just really enjoy them and I want to share them with you guys. And I guess I, decided to do something so for yeah bye guys this is say luyaka for life signing off or marinette you know du pan chang ladybug signing off <laughs>